switching out boxes here. An old box, putting in another old box, but less. Queen is right there. And I'm pulling a brood frame out to equalize to boost another smaller colony. So I thought this was a good opportunity to start some mite washes. So, first mic wash of the season. Let's see what I got. This was off an open frame brood. That's a zero. I'll shake that some more. Zero. So that's a good start. Well, that's not where I'm going to stop. August long weekend, we have 44 cells about to emerge today. So Carrie and I are both out, just kind of skimming through the apiary to find problem colonies to use up these cells, might as well. So what we're doing is we're finding uh, a hive that showing problems and killing off that queen and or reinforcing sometimes these colonies swarm and they just swarm and swarm and swarm themselves to death so some of those ones we're going to come upon pull a frame of brood from another colony drop it and drop a queen cell and get them going basically all we're doing is just cracking the lid if there's whoo, honey 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 if there's honey up on top the likelihood of that colony looking after itself is pretty high. So I'm not gonna waste my time going down into those ones. Slap fours onto everything. And I'm glad I did. You know, sometimes it's so dry and so hot. The heat's helping us. The dryness and the ending of the, supposedly the ending of the flow. <clears throat> you know, you get in a pessimistic state of mind. You're thinking, ah, oh, they can only fill threes. But in actual fact, they're going to fill fours. I'm not going to put fifths on. I'm not that optimistic. Uh, we're working on clover and sunflower, and she's coming to an end. Harvest is near. Bone dry August is upon us. One, two, three, four, even if they fill them up. You know, let's say they put 30 pounds per box. That's 120 pounds yet in there. Why not let them fill it up to 40, All right? At this point in the game, we're not gonna lose a whole bunch of production because the flow is slowing. It's quite as full, but it still has honey up there, so I'm probably thinking they're okay. Honey pulls to the top. So let's take a peek down there to see what's going on. They could have been, this <clears throat> could be a hive that swarmed or maybe a flip over on their queen. Let's just see what's going on. I don't want to disturb them too much. Obviously they have enough dirt to give me a box and a half of honey here. But uh, this is what we're doing. We're just identifying the ones that are a little bit small and trying to fix them up if we can. Oh, they're not really small. Let's go down anyways. Box and a half of honey. It's a 
some brood here and some eggs. So there's a queen. Maybe they're a little small just because maybe they're falling back because the queen's a little old. Not a spectacular nest. looks a little bit tired so what I'm going to do is I'm not seeing any problems there but I'm seeing the occasional bullet like that I mean she might be running out the nest is just blah it's not making me too excited about anything but because look at that it's just kind of is she running out or is, I don't see any problems there. It could be a fact that they backfilled and she's just not, not doesn't have the push to be able to you know, dominate that space. You know, she should be able to lay a solid and push all that nectar up and into that second box instead of the bees backfilling right down into the brood nest. So she's allowing space down there. then the bees are going to use it. They're filling it for pollen here. That might not be her fault. There's, let's see, nothing too impressive. Blah, 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 blah. There's no brood disease. Yeah, so all those spaces are filled with nectar. They obviously still have a flow going on. These nests are very, very wet. Where are you? If I can't find her, I'm just going to mark her and we're going to drop a cell in with a queen cell protector. But it'd be nice if I could find her, then we know for sure that we're going through a replacement. It's odd that the colony has not gone through a replacement themselves. Yeah, it's just falling flat. Where are you? Where are you? Probably missed her. I'm going through pretty quick. So I'll mark it. I'll leave it up to Carrie if she wants to find the queen and killer. Can, or she could just drop a cell in the cell protector. Not gonna waste any more of my time here. So that's my diagnosis. Very clean. On to the next. This 
hive is, well, this hive is dead. It's alive but dead. Nothing going on. So what I'm going to do is there's still a mass of bees in there. I'm going to find a couple frames of brood, drop a couple frames of brood in there, and then drop a queen cell. <laughs> That's a full box. I have to get the easy loader out. Save my tired back. Show us what you got. That is a pathetic supersedure cell. We have open brood, we have eggs, so she's in here. I'm not gonna take too much from them. Well, there's a good frame to donate. Let's see what they have going on in here. Beautiful frame. Yeah, I'm only gonna take one frame from them. Honey could be harvested any time. I'm seeing cappings all the way down. As soon as we get to them, as soon as this flow ends, we start stripping boxes. All right, so what I'm going to do is find another brood frame. Uh, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A brood frame and then two empties, queen cell. Let's see if we can get them sparked up again. 